Hello and welcome to another edition of Optimal Health University. This month we're going over weitis and other risks of 21st century childhood. I'm Dr. Mike Price at Coach Chiropractic and welcome to another edition. The risks of the we. This is one of those popular little game things that kids play nowadays. Most people know about this. They even have these in nursing homes and things for adults and, and an elderly population to just keep them active and get some exercise. So we're going to look at what are some of the risks, you know, these things are so cool and so fun, but what are maybe some of the things that we have to, you know, look for and maybe prevent some things that can happen because of the use of this. Many children and teenagers suffer overuse injuries from the Wii video game system. And the reason is you, kids usually don't warm up before playing the Wii like they might before engaging in other unfamiliar physical activities like sports. So what happens is basically these kids are just jumping right into this and going to town and not really getting their body ready for it. They're just jumping off the couch or jumping out of bed and, and grabbing the, the controller and, and, and going at it very early in the morning. So swinging motions in the sports games on the Wii like tennis, baseball, and bowling lack the weight resistance uh, of a real game of, of playing these sports for real and it can cause things like overextension um, of the shoulder and other issues that can happen because they're using this thing over and over. So these repetitive motion injuries can actually cause their body some harm because it's less tiring than actually playing the real sport so they don't realize how much they're overusing or overextending their body. So what is weitis? Weitis is simply a, an accumulation of micro traumas like tiny little injuries to the muscle fibers uh, that causes literally an inflammation of that area of the body or that muscle or those ligaments or those joints. It can result in spinal pain, spinal joint dysfunction, and then pain in the shoulder and the arm. So these micro traumas make the shoulder very tense and less stable, which if we continue to use this over and over and these kids keep doing this, can cause more traumas and harm down the road. So this, this motion of the shoulder and upper spine, these joints are very susceptible to these repetitive type injuries. So let's look at some other video game injuries that can happen. Um, these things have been described in medical literature over the last 25 years. Things like Nintendinitis, PlayStation thumb, and fibrous growth, growth in the knuckles from overuse injuries from these. So text messaging nowadays, because of these cool smartphones and everything we have, um, have started to actually become a problem. Not only when we're driving and people are texting, but also just the, the overuse of this. There's more than 6.1 billion messages sent annually on phones when it goes to, comes to text messages and that's not including any emails calling on those phones or anything else that happens so good texting habits to decrease the risk of injury is one is to maintain a neutral head posture um, you know when we have our head bent forward that puts a lot of stress and trauma on the spinal cord and the brain stem which is a pretty important part of our body that controls and coordinates all the functions that go on um, support your back and your forearm Use voice recognition and, and predictive typing technologies as much as possible so you're not having to use those thumbs and the fingers so much when using this, the text message. So computer use, you know, time sitting at the computer can also cause spine problems. Um, a survey of nearly 6,000 15 and 16 year olds associated time on the computer showed mild to severe neck and shoulder pain. Think about the position you're in when you're looking at a computer. If your monitor is down below the normal head tilt or the normal eye level of your body, it's going to cause forward flexion of the head, which is going to put stress, again, on that brain stem, the spinal cord, and the spine and the muscles of the, of the neck and upper shoulders. The chiropractic solution. What can we do about these things? Early reports on the emerging problem of weitis and similar repetitive motion injuries shows that chiropractic adjustments can make a huge difference your chiropractor can also advise both your child and you on the ergonomics to lessen the risk of these future injuries. We can help you to figure out some things and some solutions to helping not only your child but yourself lessen the degree or lessen the, the possibilities of these repetitive type injuries showing up in the future. <clears throat> so remember, the number one key to avoiding repetitive motion injuries is moderation. Let's not overuse or overdo these things, but to do this stuff in moderation so we're not causing these overuse injuries. So pick up, up a copy of the OHU um, from this month. Um, for more on technology and repetitive injuries, you can pick up the copy. You can look to the citations of the OHU, um, which will show the research on this topic. And then share this with friends, family, and coworkers. You never know who this can help and who this might reach. 
Um, there's a little saying in our chiropractic circles that you never know how far reaching something you may say, think, or do today can affect millions of lives tomorrow. So let us know how we can help.